been a while. Today we're going to do a what I eat in a day, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more like vloggy style because uh, we have not vlogged. This guy's getting so big. Are you, right, Sam? Yeah. Um, and right now we're having, are we having, oh, are you showing them that you could spin? Good job. Oh, and you can walk backwards <laughs> and bounce. Are you showing off? Yes, okay. And you want to try to grab the camera. Anyway, Sammy and I are having a wonderful morning. Like, super wonderful. Which is awesome. Um, so, he got some shots. to Like, um, just, just as regular. He's 15 months old now. And he got some 15 month... <laughs> he has some 15 month old uh, vaccine shots that he had to take. <laughs> And, <laughs> are you a camera hog or what? <laughs> oh, sweet boy. Um, anyway, and so I think it's, um, it's making him a little sleepy because he slept until 5.30 this morning. Yeah, that's you, Sammy, which is incredible. Um, and so while I was working this morning, yes, that's mama. While I was working this morning, uh, yeah, mama, I'm right here and there. Oh, do you want to show a magnet? Go get a magnet to show them. I watched Encanto, and I really liked it. And it was like, what an incredible, relaxing way. Because I get up, um, I get up at three, and then, oh, you're showing them the ostrich? That's great. I get up at three, um, and then Sam gets up anywhere between usually four and like, five maybe five oh five not ideal but that's just how um how life is, how that's just how he sleeps um he's very low sleep needs he he gets like nine to ten hours of sleep um a night so he goes to bed at like seven um <laughs> yeah anyway um so i'm just hanging out with this uh camera lover this morning and it's been great yeah but we'll catch up later and he's playing with the camera. One thing that's going to be weird about um, vlogging again it, with this new personal points plan is it's going to be different points for everybody. But I just figure, like, ultimately, for the most part, a lot of people had a different point system. Um, so it's, it's really just getting, like, recipe ideas and seeing what other people... Um, and see what other people do so I still hope it's helpful um honestly we well me specifically I don't know if Eric um it has been very difficult um staying consistent and doing well oh Sammy would like to talk too it's been very consistent, staying consistent, um, difficult, staying consistent and doing well without vlogging. Um, and I just find too many excuses and stuff. So I just want to let you know um, before we really, really get into it that, um, yes, we already had milk. I'll get you a snack though. It's right here. Do you see your snack? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that I really appreciate you guys watching us um, <laughs> and having patience as like this obviously like this <laughs> this is just our life right life with this guy and we're just trying to be healthy and um, you watching uh, really helps keep me accountable and I really really appreciate it <laughs> thank you <laughs> Since we have last spoken, um, I have switched how I'm drinking my coffee right now. So first of all, I do hot coffee, which is amazing. I've always been an iced coffee person, but hot coffee is great. Um, and then we went to Knott's Berry Farm. My parents took all of us, um, and I tried some of the boysenberry coffee, and it is so good. It's so fla- Oh my gosh, here comes trouble. It's so flavorful that all I need is, I use zero points worth of this unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and it is awesome. Oh, do I need to do some journaling? 
Is that why you're coming to tell me? Okay, and you want mama to pick you up. Oh, so my coffee is zero points and it is delicious. All right, it is time for breakfast. Um, so I have turkey sausage, two points apple, zero points, and then this is leftovers. Um, I have made this before on the channel. It's sweet and savory Steph's baked maple or maple baked oatmeal or something like this. I I did switch it. I used sugar free syrup and stuff instead of. Um, regular to make it four points one thing's really nice is on her website and actually on a lot of the food uh, bloggers websites you could click a link um, and it will it will sh like take you to the Weight Watchers app and show you the points so it's awesome so you don't have to figure it out um so this is six points a little high for breakfast but I get like 27 points in the day before water or exercise or anything like that so um, that's fine we walk oh breakfast was amazing and super super filling and it's really easy to put together so um i will try to have eric well i'll try to remember to send eric the link but we walked over to the grocery store because we went to aldi's yesterday but they didn't have anything so um i got some italian chicken sausage for um an emily bites recipe i actually don't know if i'm going to have time to make this Today, but um, I'll show you a bit. Actually, I think I've already showed you. Eric got this because it looked really good. Um, and then these are only one point. So I was going to do it with the buns, but the, the only buns that they had there were like four or five points. So I might just have these and then just have toast on the side. And then I also got center cut bacon um, for a recipe. So I'm sure that I'm not the only one who is really, really feeling um, the rising prices in groceries. And also like our grocery store is just, they're, it's hit or miss on if they're gonna have something. So I'm really gonna think about um, for, for myself for just life, but also maybe to film um, some like budget friendly, Weight Watcher meals and like what I eat in the days and stuff because like center cup bacon is ridiculous now and so I love it yes it's great for Weight Watchers it adds so much flavor but I think I just need to find other cheaper options for just meals in general because there are some things that I rely on that are just the prices are going up and they're getting harder to find like Aldi which I love their center cup bacon they didn't have it at all um so anyway so if you have any budget friendly recipes that you think i would like or that you want me to try or anything like that please let me know down below um because it just helped and i'd appreciate it okay i'm going to go play with the boys before sam goes down for his first nap plans changed we were going to go for um a walk to the park but because we walked this morning to the grocery store a little bit um we are going to stay home and I'll show you what we're going to be doing in between naps. Sam is still on a two nap uh, cycle right now. Um, and so, but because we're staying home, I can make this soup, which I originally wanted to, which is great. So I'll do the hot dogs a different day, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, flexibility is key when you are a parent to a little kid, a young child. Actually, flexibility is probably good in general. I do not come by it naturally. Um, anyways, so I am going to be making the Zappa Toscana or whatever soup by Emily Bites. I'm not going to, um, I'm just kind of, I'm not going to like explain step by step because I have made this soup before. I love it. It is amazing. I am looking forward to it. Um, but I will show you guys, but let me show you the Goninin family shame for the moment. That we're going to work on so if you do not know if you are new we are eric and i have a dream of being able to both work from home so we could spend as much time with um our family well this was this dream started way before we even had sam um so we have amy small world um which is i we sew travel bags i taught eric too he's doing great 
um and we've been doing that for a couple of years and we are living with, at my parents house to help save costs try to keep this dream alive um eric is going is looking for um a job right now to well as okay to be honest amy small world has definitely definitely slowed down this pat over for probably over a year ever since sam was born basically so he does need to get a uh go back to work for a bit um but so this is our so basically this is our living portion of my parents house that they so kindly let us and this is our shame it gets crazy so we have the tv that i do not watch only eric does toys stuff and guys, brace yourselves. Feel free to judge, because I would too. This is, used to be Eric's work desk, now holds stuff. Stuff. Sammy's pack and play, which is now used for like, time out or needing to think about things. Ah, one day we'll talk about that. This needs to be reorganized because um, we are switching from made to order to ready to ship. And so this is, this is storage and this is like just fabric storage and his mattress, which has to go back over here. Um, anyways, and then this is all stretchy fabric, which I bought a ton of it when I was pregnant. Um, thinking I would make a ton of things for Sam, not realizing the kid's head is huge. And so like regular sewing patterns don't really fit him and slash I have zero time. I expected Sam to be a good sleeper. I don't know what I was thinking. So, um, and then this is our like sewing and working area. So this actually looks like a mess, but it is actually pretty organized. It just looks okay. It's organized for me, but it's not terrible. And this, this part is partially organized too. Um, still looks like a mess but anyway so we're mainly going to focus on da, 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 da. do we look like quarters oh we totally look like quarters it's guys it's so okay i'm not going to try to justify myself i don't deserve justification but this is going to be our project <gasps> cv do you have a helmet on do you oh you want it off you're all done with the helmet you look cute though so. Right here is my lunch. So this is the soup. It is four points on the personal uh, plan for me. Then I have a slice of this Aldi sourdough bread. I don't put anything on it because I cannot find good light butter. That's just out everywhere. Is light butter out for you too? Um, then I have an apple. And then so I just had regular Italian sausage. That was a chicken Italian, not the hot. So I was like, hmm. So I added some like 
barely any maybe like a teaspoon because this is super spicy at this peri peri sauce from trader joe's um when i was sick um we had a like a cold a nasty cold earlier um and i was just eating top ramen because that's what sounded good um i added some of this peri peri sauce and oh my gosh it was so good so i was thinking it might add a little bit of a kick to the soup um that was missing from just doing regular chicken italian sausage hi buddy How's your bre how's your lunch? Breakfast. Pop it over so he can see himself. Burp. There's Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> more? You're literally staring at yourself. Are you saying more peanut butter pops to yourself? He can't. They can't see that he's signing. You have to back it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Want more peanut butter pops? Okay, eat one. They're right in front of you. Here you go. Is that Sammy? He, uh, he's pointing at the flashing battery sign because it's red and going to die soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Update. So this is definitely not going to be finished today because we decided to try to do things like the right way like taking things out of drawers cleaning them out and then reorganizing because we're really hoping to just like this is our main goal of getting more space here um but this is yeah this is also needs to be a main goal because um we're just putting things from the drawers onto the desk if we're like a okay we don't know where to put these things and then um we're going to find a home for them where i don't know but we're going to find a home oh i got to take a sh let me see sorry okay that's a little better i got to take a shower um cannot shower or go to the bathroom alone without a little freak out because I need my little constant companion. Um, and, oh, I'm being called. Hey, uh, the kiddo needed me, so that's uh, what I'm doing. But anyway, so um, we are on our way to the park. We're probably not gonna be able to stay very long because um, he took a good nap. He's very frequently, he's, he's taking a little bit better naps than he used to when he was younger, so. For the first one, he'll like sleep for about 30 minutes on his own, and then the second one, um, he will sleep well, and then he won't let me rock him. Then the second nap that he takes, he'll sleep for 30 minutes, then he'll let me, uh, he'll generally let me, um, rock him like he'll stay asleep for another like 15 or even 30 minutes, which is great because then I get um, cuddle time with him. Um, so anyway so we don't have a ton of time to go at the park but we but this kid has energy he's in a good mood so we should, are going to let him wander but i did want to tell you um not only about our little project update i um i'll show you probably in a different vlog or a different what i eat in a day um how that turned out um not this one but anyways um lunch was so good my mom had some too and she loved it she she actually really liked it with that little kick that i added that little um sauce um and it was really feeling really good and i'm so excited to be eating this for like most of the week so off to the park sammy what are do you see the birdies are we going to look for birdies have you seen any birds dude uh.
All right, this is my 11 point dinner. So um, I made the My Busy Kitchen skinny pizza dough. I used six points worth of that. Um, and then just like barely any sauce. I'm not going to count the sauce. One point turkey pepperoni, um, six, seven, three points worth of cheese. Then I made a little salad. This is spinach salad because I wanted to make sure I used a the spinach um because i got a big bag of it then i had some shredded carrots i cut up parts apple and then there's some almond slices to give a little crump crunch just one point worth of the almond slices and then i used this dressing i don't i don't know if i've used this i think i used it to try to dip the black and chicken but this is zero points so let's see pizza and a salad hi so it's been a couple of days and actually i've eaten that dinner multiple times and it is awesome the pizza is super good the crust you really do have to <laughs> the crust you really do have to cook at a high temperature to get crispy but it is so good i would totally recommend it and um the I think the salad worked really well, like the dressing worked well um, in small doses um, because I think I could taste um, the sugar, whatever the sugar free thing is, which that like obviously it has something in it, you know, to make it zero points. Um, oh, you want to do more magnets? Okay. We got, well, we're finally breaking out because I think he's a good enough listener where we will tell him, if we tell him um, not to eat something, he will do because those are kind of the foam and he's still teasing. Yes, uh, uh, umbrella. Good job. Um, so we figured we'd break these out because he's doing much better at listening. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much. By the time that you guys see this, um, the big change in my little shop. Yes, B, 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 boy. That's still the U though. Anyway, um, so I have changed my shop. Um, we make handmade travel bags to ready to ship. So if you want to check out Amy's Small World, please go ahead and support this little family business. Hey, hey, I just was saying you're doing a good job about listening. What's going on? We don't eat those. We don't eat those. Can you put it on the uh, refrigerator, please? Thank you. Good listening, Sam. Oh, you gotta flip it. Okay, anyways. I think I'm going to close the... Is that funny? Okay. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. If you want to check out my shop, please do. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys soon. Right, Sammy, can you wave? Can you wave? Bye-bye. Can you wave? You did it right up. Can you wave, Sammy? Wave again. Good job. Okay, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.